Hello, hello everyone. It is I, Plagan. Welcome back. So, last time we found out that VTube Studio and Seven Days to Die cannot run at the same time, or else it will cause Seven Days to lag, which is not very great, let me tell you that. So, I think I need to get a better GPU, but I'm not going to spend one right now since mine works perfectly fine for most of the time. So we're just going to ignore that and not use my VTuber model while we're in game. Yeah, so I'll just throw up a PNG like I did at the end. All right. Anyway, previously, seven days to die, we had survived and died and then died a little more. And we increased the difficulty and then died a lot more. Yeah, it was a mixed bag, but we made some progress. We found a good place to call our home. And that's where we're going to begin. So after we left last time, as I said, I... Did a little bit of tinkering with the base and ended up doing various things to it, right? I didn't go outside, no zombies attacked. So nothing really eventful happened. I'll just kind of show you what I did, which is nothing, really. I just broke down some stuff and upgraded some stuff. So let me start the game up. And I was thinking about lowering the difficulty. But since we're not lagging anymore, I don't think I need to. I'm not going to do that. Wow, you can already see my model lagging just because I started the game up, huh? <laughs> Crazy. Also, I think without my VTuber model running, we will be able to get rid of the low graphics we have and start them up a little bit higher. So we're loading in, I'll switch over now and kill my VTuber model. Hi, you can see me here just hiding behind my model. All right. Boop. Kill that. There we go. All right. So, the model is dead, but the PNG is forever. I'll be a PNG tuber this series. Yeah. Not that that's a bad thing, it doesn't really matter. I just don't get to show off my amazing animations and stuff. So. so basically all that I really did to the base here is I took out some uh, components and stuff that was like lying around. I forged more of the metal and stuff that we had. So that's all good. I made the storage box here, which is just gonna be a dump chest for right now. I think it's gonna be stuff sorted. Um, pretty much everything got melted down except for some sand. You can see the variables here, how much of each we got. Um, I sorted my inventory for stuff I want to sell and all that, and it just became day. So let me real quickly show you. I broke down that door. I also broke down that chest that was here, and I broke down some of the other like components and stuff that was not necessary to my base's functionality. Now, with that being done, let us go. And we are going to go to the trader, sell some stuff, and then just do some more, you know, stuff and things. So, first of all, I want to get rid of some of this dirt here. Just so I can more easily tell where this base, this entrance is. I might, in fact, build a little house on top of this, like a little shack, just so it's there, right? One more here. Okay, and I did just become thirsty, which is annoying, but that's fine. Um, where was the trader at again? Maybe I should mark him. Save waypoint. Uh, is that one? Trader, there we go. Okay. Wait. Okay. All right, so this way. Okay. Let's move. So we will go ahead of the trader, sell some of the stuff we don't really need, see if we can buy anything else, which I doubt. Then we might just go and clear out that fair den place that we saw. See how that goes. No. Okay. So if things stay pretty steady um, for us here, at least without lagging. I might increase, like I said, the graphics a bit. 
Be nice. Although I am noticing the stream seems to be like stuttering a little, or like maybe it's because of all the grass that it's just being odd. Cause I know Bitrate does not necessarily like grass in games. It's just a thing that exists. Speaking of, let me repair that. Good. Just gonna ignore those zombies for right now because I don't want to waste a lot of time because it is day five. And day five is right before the day before the horde. So we have basically tonight and tomorrow night. And then it's horde night. So we need to start preparing for the horde. But I do want to do a little more looting while we have some extra time. Because we could still potentially get some good stuff. We might get some more construction tools or... I think that'll help us out there. I can probably sell that car battery, or I can break it down for lead. Do what the better option is once we get to uh, the crater here. Might as well search these while we can. Ooh! Pipe pistol. Nice. Now we actually have a gun that can fire the uh, pipe ammunition. Now, is it time for me to open up this? Nope, it's locked. Okay. Yep, that's what I thought. Fine. Also, three days have gone past. So we, we definitely have uh, the time that has gone by so that we can have stuff respawn. I just fuddled my words, I don't know that. While we're waiting for the shop to open, search around up here a little bit. Pick out some zombies, get some loot. That should hit. Yep. I does not want to stay down. He really does not want to stay down. Okay. There we go. All right. Next we got... We got so many zombies here. I think I can kill her in one hit, so let's do her next. There we go. Next we'll do the big guy. Ooh, there's something in front of him, though. Can I get out of the way so that's not loaded? Is that from below? I do have been from below. There we go. Got him dead. Can we hit this one? Ah, just a little low. Got him! Nice. Excellent kill. All right, let's get these stone arrows back. Loot what we can up here in top side, and then we can go down into the. I think it's a gas station. So, for your stuff, lady. If we look down below. I think I hear some zombies. Knocking some stuff around. Oh! Got a construction worker who came up here. Didn't realize they can get up on this side. All right. So just dash his brains in. Oops. There we go. All right. Let us... Yeah, that's a slope there. Okay. Finish searching up here. Yeah. Got her. He's next. He did not want to die in one hit. Okay. There we go. Okay. The trader is now open. We heard the, uh, the alarm go off. Whenever we're ready, we can go there. But I don't know why we would go there without clearing... Oh, just a hatch. Okay. Oh, hey, bud! Did you get here? That's right, ragdoll on the ground. Got him. He was just stuck in there. How nice. Okay. Anything else I can kill while I'm up here? I think that's a crawler. Or it's just a corpse, I don't know which. Definitely just a corpse, okay. You hear people banging on things. It looks like right there? That door's been damaged. 
Might just let the zombies down below do their thing real quick. Oh, this guy. Missed that shot. Hate to see it. There we go. Didn't get the sneak damage, but that's okay. Make sure my back. Why did you jump there, dude? Remember quickly, this guy had a lot of health. It would be kind of a pain to kill him, actually. Now that I think about it. I'll use up a lot of arrows for this, but that's okay. I always keep moving. I might just use the gun on him. Oh, hey. You're here. Come on. Come up here. I'm not sure where it's level and I can actually fight you properly. Come on, one more hit. There we go. I was just guessing on the one more hit thing, but it actually turned out, so that's great. Got him. Maybe I should just shoot him with a goddamn gun at this point. God. Alright, come here, you. What are you doing? Whatever. Deal with it in a moment. Okay. That zombie came out of here, it looks like. So at least area secured, it looks like. Okay. Anything here I can interact with? I can interact with this one toilet, I guess. I should get out a weapon as well. I don't want to be stuck with a bow here. Eventually that zombie will break through or something. Um, I do want to actually put down my things here. Can I get water from this? No? Ah. I need to find a source of water. That's really what I need to do right now. Water would just be excellent. Even if I gotta get it from a urinal. It was locked. We have some food here. I'm not gonna... God, this thing scared me. If we get in there, I have to go through the roof. That's fine. I don't like that. Another old chair. Hello there. I'm trying to get through. I'll just let them... be doing their thing, I think. For now, let's proceed through here. Search this little office, I guess. Uh -huh. Oh, sheesh. Hey, bud. You kind of just came out of nowhere, didn't you? Is this your office? I gotta say, I'm not impressed. I'm gonna hit there. Oh, crap. Hit the sofa. Just get staggered, bud. Here we go, got him. Can't jump from there, huh? I was gonna be careful of roofs. Never know where they're gonna drop from. Oh, I got a sort of meat recipe, it looks like. The filing cabinet should give me some paper. Excellent. Random cardboard box with some brass in it, okay. A pile of books will give me paper. Alright. Oh, we got a wall safe. Now the thing is. I could pick that. But I'm not liking all the zombie noises that are happening right now. Let's back up for a moment so I can see the area. And we'll just go ahead and start scrapping the material and dropping what we don't need. Okay, pistol. Perfect. Ooh, we got a stone shovel that's much better than our current one, so let's get rid of that. Scrap that, and then we'll... a grilled meat recipe. Use it. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. I'll go ahead and eat these peas. Grab that. Make some more stone arrows, get rid of these feathers in my inventory. I forgot to plant these. You know what? I don't need these in my inventory. Let me get rid of this stuff. Not that important. Okay. Excellent. I'm not seeing any zombies nearby. Let's jump up here. 
trying to pick this lock. It's going to be pretty secure for at least a little bit. We did also grab the lock pick level one. So we might just be... Damn. Okay. Check the surrounding quick and do it again. Work another one. One more time. One more. How about once more? How many do I got left? Two? Keep trying. Come on. Oh, we got it. And all that for a couple of gold and a bipod mod. Not the greatest, to be honest, but... Okay, for now. Open freezer. Got some food there. I need water. What was that? Hello? Zombies? Keep getting murky water. Not ideal. Get all this junk. I can't tell what is and what is not lootable. In like a brief look. Is that the floor that I'm like touching? Is that what's breaking and stuff? Hello there, I see you. Go ahead and take you out, huh? Height elevation advantage. Don't you jump? Not allowed. Get back up. Come on. Stand up. One time I don't want them to stagger, they're like. Oh, hey, it's my friend with all the arrows. Perfect. Kill him? He's dead. Get my arrows back, bud. Thank you. Okay. Let's go ahead and repair this. Luckily, I have a bunch of pipes, so I can repair it quite simply. Repair that as well while I have it. Okay. Cash register will sometimes have money or the, uh, the Duke tokens in them, so we'll definitely check that out. That. A couple more lock picks to replenish what we've lost. That's not bad. Get in there. I don't know if there's gonna be anything behind there. Yeah. By the depth that we have. Oop. Here's something. Tin can. Love to see it. Not really, but. I'm gonna need this tuna quick. And it'll increase my. Hunger a bit. You look quite thirsty, which is not ideal. Okay. This area is basically cleared out. Where was the ladder I used to get down? Did I use the ladder? No, I did not. Right, okay. So he broke that door. That's fine. I guess our only other option is to go through here, but we could also just use this ladder. I use the ladder to safely get down. Oh boy! Let's just do that real quick. Dang smart zombies being able to go up ladders. How dare they? Ah, uh, he hit me. Sure. Well, that's fine. It comes to my attention that I have uh, appeared to have forgotten to grab some bandages. Not a deal. So we can open the shutters with that and get out that way, but I'm not going to open the shutters quite yet. That is uh, what we want to do last when we go out. Because that'll cause a lot of noise. Don't want to cause a lot of noise quite yet. I picked up some sort of key. What was it? What is this? This is the area I was just at. Okay. How do we get down over here? What? Oh, there's up down here. Oh, hey, bud. Little mechanic. Ah. Oh, looks like I scratched the uh, 
the rubble down there, but also hit him in the head, so that's cool. Excellent, okay. Got some old trash here, I'll take that. Got some old trash here. Also, if you sneak, it takes longer to search stuff, so... You need to be careful to not do that. Hear more people. What do we got? Ooh, a bicycle frame. That is very helpful. Probably one of the best things we could have gotten right there. Yeah. Hell, where'd you guys come from? So I don't get stuck between a wall and them. Um, in the dick. Can you guys not form a uh, trench coat man, please? Okay, one down. Here's the next one. Come on. Come on. Come on, sir. There we go. Got him. Pink. Yeah, got him. Okay. Wasn't sure since he didn't uh, give me double experience on the bottom there. He didn't go to 1,200s. Make sure. Go ahead and pick up this stone. Why not? Can't really get back there easily. Maybe it'll have like a tunnel this way. Perhaps the. Oh. Got a zombie there. Ah! Lighter. Oh, is it a feral? Must be a feral. He's moving that quickly. Dead now. All right, so there might be more zombies in here. We will try and clear it out quietly. Pretty sure that's just a corpse. Not going to deal with that. Right, you're just a corpse lady. Okay. So with this one here, leather trunk. Excellent. We have a lot of stuff. This is uh, bats and clubs degrade slower. Nice. That'll help. Sort of. That's not going to be much. We have a semi-mod, which modifies the trigger group to semi-auto only. Whatever. I'll take that. I'll file ammunition. Excellent. All right, let's break this stuff open quick. It takes so long to clear buildings now. When I used to play way back in the day, I got a wrench schematic. Nice. Back in the day. Back in my day. No. It, uh, robots, some batons degrade slower. Nice. Um, craft AP robotic turret ammo. Nice. I want to keep this headlight, so let's, um, heals broken leg or arm more quickly. Okay, what can I scrap? These tin cans. There we go. Alright, so now let's head to the trader. Get the hell out of here. But as I was saying, back in my day, back in my day, we uh, never used to really have these huge areas. It used to just be like a small little storefront. And in that storefront, there would just be specific boxes that you just climb on top of shelves to open and whatnot. We didn't have these like sprawling, like dungeon esque buildings, which they're really cool now. But looting them takes almost all day. It's already noon. And that wasn't even like a huge one either. Look how slow we are just because we're carrying so much weight. It's, it's so, so bad. Question is there stuff I can loot now? Has it replenished? Nope. Not yet. I think because we went here day two, so tomorrow it should replenish. If we're a decent ways away, that is. We're not guaranteed to have it refresh now. You again. Hey, Trader I'm Jen. I'm starting to think you like Dr. Jen. All right. Let's, of course, get rid of these um, golden nuggets, because those will get us a lot. This testosterone extract, steroids, uh, this normal money. I'm for this battery. 16? 
I'll hold on to the battery for now. This bipod mod. Hmm, I'll hold on to that as well. Oh, I didn't even realize I got a sledgehammer schematic. Dang, okay. Um, take these iron arrows. Oh, you don't want all of them? Okay. I see how it is. How about this cast? Can I, can I sell you this cast for a lot? Nope. How about the splint? Nope, also not. Okay. Anything else that I could sell her that would be like a decent amount? Oil. I don't know if I want to sell her the oil. What does she have, first of all, I guess is the question. She has a beaker. Oh my gosh, she has a beaker. Okay, well, hold on. Beaker stash. We have a grave digger mod, which makes you do more against dirt. Ooh, bicycle handlebars. Lever action schematic. I've never seen that come before in my life. Uh, let's see, we got a wooden bow. Military helmet, vehicle, extended seat. I don't think I need that. A great heist. You can fall up to 15 meters without taking damage while carrying 5,000 dukes or more. Oh, so if you have more money, you uh, fall less, I guess. Um, steroids. Got weaponry. You've got all this. How's that baseball bat? Level 3? Yeah, I don't want it. What do you got for books, baby? What do you got for books? Lamb ration. We got a beaker, flashlight, random scrap. Okay, so really the only thing I want is the beaker, because those are hard to get for the most part. Um, that's not even worth selling. I don't think I could even get to the amount that I need to have to buy it if now I did. That was a good deal. Trust Do it. So. I'm a doctor. Rearrange the inventory a little bit here. Scrap these lead thingies. Eat the sham. I'm gonna scrap these arrowheads too. Um, I, think I, I don't think I can scrap anything else. I could scrap these, but I don't want to do that. We're not going to. All right. Let's head back to the base, drop off what we got, and kind of, uh, from there. Pose? Hey, real quick. I don't have a bicycle. Okay, so I need a workbench in order to build the bicycle handlebars. Okay. Well, just head home now. I, I need water desperately. Like I'm getting real low, and if we let it get too low, we'll start taking uh, damage to our like max health and stamina which i mean we're already a little low because of it but that just lowers our amount that we have not our total amount the longer you survive and not die the healthier you are the more stamina you end up having you want to have as much stamina health as possible the more stealth health and stamina means that we die less also, my stamina took another dip total because of the uh, dehydration. And I still have not found a single place to get water from. Crap, that was just cold food. I don't want this. All right. We might have to make our priority finding a water source. Because if we can find a water source, we can just have a nice renewable amount of water which would really help out quite a bit. Oh, we can just fill up all these these 32 things of uh, glass jars I got. All right, yeah, stay right there, sir. That was a whiff. What? I definitely should have hit him. Okay, screw this. Melee time. I'm not gonna waste any more arrows on this guy. 
Oh, I'm out of stamina because I don't have any uh, hydration. Come on. Come on, sir. What I thought. Get him all down. Perfect. Just enough for that. Oh god, he turned completely 360 there. Unfortunately, I cannot run away from this guy anymore. I have to kill him. There we go. He's down. Okay. Let's not run any more zombies. Let me go ahead and notch a new arrow. There we go. Okay. Zombies are a great source of experience, but not at the risk of losing half my health, fortunately. There's another nest right there. Almost passed that by. Keep crafting arrows with our feathers. No sense not doing it. The more arrows we got, the more we can take out silently. Ugh. So slow. Where is the hole? Cannot see it from here. There it is. I see it. Come on. We're almost back. I think being dehydrated also lowers my uh, stamina regen, which is not great. Not ideal. We have nothing up there to protect us against a horde or anything. Okay, so... Into the food chest real quick. We're going to drink some goldenrod tea. Get our stuff up nice and good. And we'll also go ahead and start throwing stuff in here that we can, like coffee. And I think that's all we have. So I'm just going to use another goldenrod tea. Healing items. We have that, 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 and that. Although I think I want to hold on to first aid bandages. Just so we actually have something to heal with in the event that we get damaged. That only sounds like a good plan. Also, I just realized I have some eggs here that we can throw in. Um, let's move over to our weapon and ammo chest, because there's a lot of that here. Um, I think that's everything. For the modifier, modification stuff in here, though. Materials. Throw the mini bike chassis. Let's throw the battery there. That, 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 those, that, there, lead all melt down, so let's hold on to that for now, cobblestone, parts and glue, there's some gasoline, yep, that, combine that, throw that in there, do that first actually, turn it back on, all right. Let's put this here. Okay. So over here real quick. And what can I make? Do I need murky water for anything? No. So let's just make a bunch of boiled water with that. And while that's cooking up, let's go ahead and continue to drink our golden rod tea. We need a lot of that. Also go ahead and Replenish our food here. More food. Hey. Okay. Need another drink? Well, we will after we eat a couple more of these. Might as well eat the last one as well, the last charred meat we have, which means we'll need more food as well. I think we can take this cornmeal. Let's drink this last thing here. And we can take this murky water. And we can make some cornbread. Go. Put this in here now. Put away this cornbread. Okay. Got 
gonna take a little bit to make the cornbread looks like. Okay. Let's start doing what we need to do to survive the night. Um, let's start out by making 20 frames. And then I'll start making while we're going here. I also need a door. And I already have a hatch, so that's fine. Brass finished really quick. I guess the brass melts down really quickly. Nice. Mm. The cornbread is just the same as the uh, beef, so I don't think we'll use cornbread anymore. Really unfortunate. I was hoping it would actually do a lot more than it did. Wait these 11 seconds, and then we will... Turn this off. There we go. Put that in there. And I'm going to actually turn this off as well since we only have like that much left in there. All right, so. Let's begin with fortifying this base. Okay. What I'll do first, I'm just going to put a hatch here. I'll just fortify that. There we go. All right, next, I'm going to put... Oops. Foundations around this. Actually, before I do that, let me get rid of this stupid grass that's going to be in the way. Okay. Add that, add that, and boop, boop, boop. We can put this door down, fortify it. I still have that hammer. All right. Fortify this area here. So it is going to take us quite a lot of wood here to finish upgrading all of this. And it's going to be rough. So, start chopping down some trees nearby. Cover this one here. And then we can start replanting as well. So that way we'll have more trees that are going to go ahead and start spawning. I'm not going to replant right away. I'm going to wait until we get a couple of seeds here. And we'll plant them across the road. Make a nice little forest for us. You know what, it seems to be performing pretty well. Let's actually increase the quality to medium. And of course, turn off motion blur completely. Give it a moment to do this and re-render everything. It already looks so much better. We'll see if this uh, works for us. We'll see. All right, continue going. Let's keep chopping wood until this axe needs repaired, at least. There we go. Another one. So I had said that we were going to use that tower over there to, uh, off the hordes but I think that's gonna be the plan after the first night so the first night we will make this little ladder hatch building into 
the uh, place to hold for right now. Then after that, once we have a little more time, we can do that other place. You know. Okay. This should be enough wood to finish at least building another layer of walls, I think. Do I? Hmm. We gotta hold off on that one. And uh, trying to come up with a plan here. If I do that, that and I'm gonna build some more frames so I'll build like 30 more for now put that there we got tool skill points from that nice okay let's make sure the area is cleared it is all right open up our right here um actually hold on around here quick. But let, let, let's ignore the skill points for right now, at least, anyway. Um, they're not that important for just building. For now, we just need to get the corners going here. So my question that I, I want to think about is, do I just, like, build walls completely and then take the horde out from the roof, or do I put, like, bars around this area and use the bars to our advantage? Let's see. Um, so this is a wooden frame, so... How do I... No. How do I edit the shape of the wooden frame? We need to build a frame shape? No, because that's just this. Click or shift click to select a variant to build with. Oh, hold the reload action and select the shape entity from the radial menu. So this. Okay. Shape. I need stairs or a ramp. Probably a ramp, I would say. Uh, if I was going to be a ramp, where would I be? There's so many shapes now. Uh, stairs. I guess I can just ramp here. Here we go. Get a ramp. Go back out. I can now that up, rotate this, and put it there. Okay. Hold R again. Shape. Um. The window stuff. I need bars. Where are, where are the bars at? Lines of like that. Signs, that's not what I need. No. Construction. Construction, destruction. We got windows, trim, catwalk, stairs, poles? I don't think poles is what I want either. Basic, there we go. We got bars here. Let's choose the bars, and then we can... I think I want them closest to me, right? Oh, 
we can do that. And then we'll just revert this back to a cube. Okay. Now the question is, can I tear up this dirt without the door breaking? Can. Then I can replace that there. That. Now I got a nice, nice slope downwards. Let's start building these frames. And with this, I'll be able to just shoot uh, arrows and stuff out of the little bunker here. I can also check for any zomboys who are nearby. You know. Um, let's see. Ladder. Let's go four ladders. Okay. I can build them here. Let's go up here real quick. So the thing we got to remember when we're building this is that it needs to be one higher than the zombies are going to be able to get to, right? Here there are some that can jump on top of walls and stuff, but those aren't the ones we're too worried about right now. What I'm worried about is them getting on top of our spike traps and jumping over that way. So I want to go one higher than this. Okay. We'll build one more here. We'll build a ladder here. One more block, please. Thank you. Okay. I have to do a couple more frames here. We should be able to finish this layer. And the roof will, of course, be like oop, oop. Go ahead and do that. That way we at least have more support. Because if we don't have supports, the thing will just break. Okay. Make some nice progress here. Uh, in order to upgrade to another tier, we need cobblestones, huh? Okay. I see. It used to be you would upgrade the wood to, um, well, wood, and then after wood came uh, another layer of wood, and then after that, it would be steel, or just the, the iron scrap that you pick up. And then after the iron scrap, you would use... More iron scrap and then steel to make a steel block. It's been it's been a while since I've you know mail, made anything here. It's a metal frame. Let's make another let's make another twenty. We have a good amount. And then let's take our pine cones. Have we cut on a couple more trees here? I think we have some cobblestone down below. We can use our cobblestone and upgrade another tier. Yeah, you don't want to have a broken base right away. Okay, so let's go ahead and I think this distance away is fine. So let's just put fucking trees down. I'm gonna run around while I do it. Oop. It's really meleeed there at the end. Fine. All right, so we got our little bunker. Not too bad. Doing all right. We do need a lot more wood. Not only for the bunker, but also to cook stuff with. Oh. Oh, that. Okay. So after this tree, we'll do one more tree, I think. Actually, what we could do is we could just keep chopping trees down until night comes, which is too 
one more hour, I guess, one hour 15 in game time. And then once night falls, we can just solely focus on doing stuff around the base. That way we'll have an ample supply of wood, right? I think that might be the best course of action. Although, we're also nearing our limit on food. So I might also want to try and hunt some animals before we do too much else. Hmm. That's really the question, ain't it? What to do? We only have one more hour to think. Or not even to think, we have one more hour to act before we have to go inside because the zombies will be a little bit moody out here. Okay. You know what? Look around. See if we can find any animals. Ideally, we could find a rabbit or something. We see them all the time when we're moving around, right? But now when we actually look for one, we're not going to find them. Isn't that how it goes? I don't think I should hunt anything. We've already just wasted 15 minutes doing that. So I'm just gonna get wood. Never mind. If we start starving, we can uh I don't know. Suffer. That's what we have to do. I guess we got some cornbread, so that that'll help a bit. But yeah. We have cornbread. Well, all right. We'll finish this tree, and then I think we should be good. Wood, at least for now. Okay, and here we go. Go ahead and place the dang trees down. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright, let's head home. And also, we have that little house over there we have not searched yet either. So that could potentially be a nice little place to search before board day comes. Like tomorrow morning, we could head over there, loot it, and then come back here to finish, finish up, right? Okay. Let's go down here. I'm just going to leave the hatch open because it doesn't really matter at this point. I put some candles around as well, so when the lights do turn off here, it's not completely like a mess, I guess. Um, put, the, put that there. So cobblestone rocks. Let's grab those out real quick. And then we'll go to our food chest and we'll just start eating a little bit of this. Cornbread. Does eating it stack? Is that what I'm seeing? It kind of just stacks the time? Okay. Well, we're also going to have to drink a little, but I only have coffee at this point. Not great. Oh, I guess I did just make some boiled water, right? No, I made cornbread after I made the boiled water. Oh, this sucks. Is there really no water near me? Look at the map. Is that maybe water right there? I don't think so. It'd be nice if we could find like a pool or something in one of these houses. I need water. Okay. Let's see here. Let me put these down here so I can build with them. My food looking still a little low. Let's just eat the rest of this cornbread.
I think it did stack. Just water or coffee, I guess. I'm gonna have to use the other coffee as well. Okay. Let's take this coffee. I'm just gonna hold on to it so we can use it as we need. Turn off the forge now. Alright. I wish I had something to make torches with, but I don't have the animal fat. We need to find like a boar or a bear or something fat from it. So I'd like to be able to light this place up too, so we're not completely, you know, blinded. Okay. Well, regardless, let's go up here. I actually think I want to crouch here. We're not making too much noise. Spooky at this time of night. Fill in the gaps, make it structurally sound here. I really don't want to be outside during the night. So I think we'll just start fortifying the interior here. With the trap door so birds and stuff can't get in. We're for the bars. That way dogs and crawlers can't get in here. Okay. And then Think about it. Fortify this one. That one. That one. Go around the perimeter here. The concrete's next after this tier. Okay. Is rebar still a thing? No. Not. That's fine. Okay. Um, so we'll do this one next. This one. I need metal hatch or metal door to upgrade those further. Okay. So with that, all fortified it did. Fortified this as well. Go. Okay. Can I fortify the corners from here? I can. No, the, the, the middle. The middle. Why can I fortify that one, but not this one? Hmm? Nope. Had it. Please. Please. That later. How about this one? Can I do this one? Nope. Okay. Well, how much more cobble do I have? I got plenty. Okay. Let's do the next tier up as well. Then I'll have to do the corners after I am able to go back outside. Can I hit this one? Bubble up again. Nice. Okay, and then let's do that, that, to the interior here. Full cement. We can leave the roof wood because only birds are going to be attacking from the top, and those don't happen too frequently. At least they didn't last I knew. So everything except for the corner pillars that the zombies will be able to attack, I believe, is finished now. So let's actually look at our inventory and our stat points. Do I have something that's giving me two perception? Oh. Anyway. So. Crouch down and use your keen eyesight to find the tracks of small animals that grab as your snakes. Your hawk like sense can detect deer as well as sneaky predators like coyotes. Become the ultimate tracker. Senses are unparalleled. Uh. 
Y'all heal that? Yep, the zombies are running around. I don't even know I'm here though. Is that a wandering horde? That's terrifying. Okay. Well, setting that aside. There's an owl. Really, the only thing that would matter right now would be this one. But I don't know if I want to crouch down. Anyway. Um. Infiltrator is less damage from traps. What was the one that was like batons? Was that this? No, that's sledgehammers. Humble Pete is baseball bats. Hack Mule would let me carry more stuff. Mm -hmm. What about. That's just fists. Machine Gunner. Huntsman is. Harvest more resources from animals using tool or bladed weapon. Okay. I want to get live off the land. That way I can start making. Um, I can de deconstruct like pumpkins and stuff. That'd be great to have. Already got cardio. Archery. Um, you deal more damage, aim faster, try and reload bows faster. Um, unlocks the wooden bow and iron crossbow. Okay. Gunslinger for pistols. Deep cuts is that. Run and gun is my hip fire. Flurry of blows is uh, one headed melee. I have clubs. Brawl and I have knuckle stun batons. Okay. That armor doesn't matter right now. Tumbler doesn't matter right now. Hidden strike. More sneak damage. Not bad. Executioner. According to stop. Wikipedia, Kitchener Alexis. is a city in the Canadian province of Ontario. Alexa, stop. About... I, I don't even know. Didn't she do that last time, too, when I said Alexicutioner? Oh. Because electro Electrocutioner sounds like Alexa Cution. Okay. Gotcha. That's why she does it. I wonder if this applies to my baton weapon. Better barter doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. People get inspired when you are near them. Nearby allies gain health. That doesn't matter. That's engineering, whatever. Grease monkey. Maybe I try to get grease monkey for the bicycle. But then again, I mean, it doesn't matter right now because I can easily go between the town, right? Yeah. Although, being able to craft a workbench would be nice. But I need four intellect for that. God damn, that's expensive. At least we have the knight to do this with, right? Um. Crap. Track animals are marking your compass and maps. I think I will get the trail finder just so we can get that. And then. Where was. Huntsman to get. More resources from animals. We'll get that as well. And then that'll be all of our stuff. And uh, so we got Lay of the Land, Huntsman and all that. Um, farm Plot Block. Really? You used to be able to just make a, a hoe and then fill up the soil and build plots wherever, but... You actually need to build farm plots now, huh? But I mean, I guess that means we can just build underground for our food, which would be very helpful, actually. We we'll actually need rotting flesh. Crap. What is that? Rotting flesh nitrate? Oh my god. Okay, well. Thought I almost fell there. Let's, let's I'm gonna leave the hatch open. We're not going to be getting attacked. Oh my god. Just about fell off. This place looks so eerie. I don't know why some lights are on, but some are off. I wish I could like constantly have them all on, right? Okay. So, I'm going to need to keep this here. Keeping all this. Keeping that stuff there. What was I looking at? 
Got nitrate, rotting flesh. I don't have any rotting flesh. I have enough nitrate, it looks like, to make a couple of farming plots. So that's good, at least. Um, I'm going to take this. These. Got the aloe vera seeds. So there was pumpkins. Okay, so now I can... Can I not? Huh? Oh my god, I need the pumpkin seed recipe in order to do that? Can I make any seeds right now? I need five golden rod to make a seed. Okay. How much for the pumpkin seed then? It doesn't say. Crap. That's just rude. It used to be you could turn one into a seed. Do it. So I'm going to have to hoard up longer than I thought. Okay. Well, golden rod would be easy enough to get. Um, that'll be simple. The rest of the stuff, a little bit of a pain. But we'll do that. Okay. Well, I should finish up my idea here. Uh, let's do this, and then frame. Perfect. Well, oh, there's two of them. With that shot, damn it. Stop it. I've hit my door. I want to be careful not to attract any more zombies, so... But that was a feral, huh? Okay. Stop, oh, sir. Here we go. Easy peasy. Now that... What I was going to do here... Let's not that. Um, rotate, 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 rotate. I need to this. Can you not do this anymore? Oh my god, that's gonna be awful if it is. Advanced. There we go. <laughs> That's what I wanted, baby. Hell yes. Okay. Oh. I'm just going to take my arrows back and then uh, do all I do. Oop. Yeah, one thing that's cool is that you can place down frames like this. Crap, I hit one button. And then you can shoot through them. I get the sweet spot because I can't go down yet. Crap, missed it. Come on. One more. One more. Here we go. You know, I might just hold off on... I'm going to upgrade them once. But until daylight comes, I'm not going to worry too much about placing the rest of them. Because it's going to be easier if I just wait till day. Oh. Anyway, let's go and... Let's count. I need one... One, two, three, four, five. So I need five, ten, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen total frames here. So if we look at frame, frame shapes, 
um, 18, so I need nine more. Okay, because four squares in the corner kind of support them and uh, make the next square thing. And then I can just kind of shoot through these down to the people below, and anything that's down below won't be able to very easily get up. At least that's the idea here. Now it is day. So, finish placing these bad boys. Building up the rest of the sides here. I have to rotate for that other back side there. there we go. And let's switch the shape to a square. Put that baby there. I mean, maybe I don't need to do a square. Maybe I can do a, uh, what would look neat? What could I get here? Um, is there like a interesting sort of like this maybe? And then I could rotate it like I'm going to have to do advanced, right? Here we go. Oh my god. Missed it. Missed it again. There. Oh my god. That looks nice. Yeah, I like that one. I'm gonna do that again, aren't I? Boop, and then boop. Then advanced. Do it again. Oh. Boop. Boop. Don't right click or left click, I mean. We'll finish up all these. Upgraded all those, so we'll move this side. That one as well, so we'll do these next. All right, and now we just need to finish the corners. Not bad, almost 3,000 experience just from upgrading stuff. There we go. Yeah, baby. There's a lot of zombies right there. I don't like that. Is that everything? Looks like it. Okay. I'll start punching some grass. Clear out a little area around the bunker here. Grass area. Doing this so it's easier to place down the next thing we're doing, which is these boys. Do anything with these? Hmm. Really? We'll just do this. I think it'll still hurt them, right? Can I pick them up after I place them down? No. Just to be safe, we're, we'll do the rest of them like this. So with these, the zombies will take damage while they're on these. And might help to kill some of them prior to them getting too close to my face. You know, kind of how it works. One thing is, we got to be careful about this when we try to um, move into and out of this place now. Because if we get too close to these, they will just bomb on you. Also, this is why we made it three high, because if the zombies can get on top of these, they'll be able to hit that level. Something we do not want to have happen. 
not put it on top of myself, please. This is why I got rid of some of the grass around, so we didn't... Nope. Oh. I knew it. Really, in order to upgrade though, I need cement, huh? Uh, okay, let's do one more lap around. Clear out some of the grass here. We can get in our way when we place the rest of them. Wooden spike traps. How many can I make? I make 30. I thought I'd just at least be able to upgrade these, but apparently not. So if you remember when we were at that one home, it didn't really help us much when we had some of these around. So I'm not expecting great things from these. I just want them to weaken the zombies a little bit. You know what I mean? Just a little bit. All they have to do. While we're waiting for more of these to get crafted, let's go ahead and have down some trees. Might as well crouch while I'm crouch while I'm doing it to look for some animal tracks. But of course we find none. Have I searched this yet? I have. In. Any tracks? Oh, got a rabbit over there. Go and take it down, shall we? Zombie on our right, we'll be careful of that. We're nearing the rabbit. Right there. This bird nest, and then we'll track it down. Okay. Right, nope. Damn it. Oh, that was a miss. Hit it. Got it. I can take this bone shiv and we can go ahead and carve up this rabbit. We're not going to get a lot of meat from a rabbit, but it's going to be enough to make at least one thing of meat. Also, another one over here, so let's go hunt for it. Right there, yep. For it to move. And stop, and then release. God, it's hard to see it when you can't. I don't know if the symbol's above it or below it. Too much grass, I hate grass. Come here. Come here, little shit. Uh, I really don't want to deal with this, to be honest. I don't like rabbits. I can't tell if it's running from me or if it's just moving. There you go, little crap. Well, hunting zombie now. Oh, there's a chicken over here. Shouldn't probably be easier to hit because it can't run as fast. But it's hard to see 
in this uh, brain. There it is. Stop moving, man. Stop moving. I can't even see it. There it is. Right. There. Oh my god, I moved. Throw it! Hey, chicken! Eat lead. This damn time shooting bows. Okay. Easy done it. Another chicken down that way, though. Do I really want to get another one? I think I want to get another one. Let's go. Here you zombie. We're also getting a lot of feathers from it, so that's nice. Ow. Ah. Lady, please. You're too short. I can't hit you. There we go, got her. Alright, so we made a, a bit of a detour down here to actually find the chickens, but that's okay. Let us go back up north a bit. That's a boar. Hey, boar. Let me kill this zombie, then I'll kill you. It's going to be a lot of animal fat and stuff, too. It doesn't even seem bothered that I'm killing the zombie, so. What a chill boar. Go. Okay. Okay, let's go on top of here. Yeah? Oh, how you think, huh? Why do you have so much health, Mr. Boar, huh? There we go. He has the same amount of experience as a zombie. Excellent. Well, I'll go ahead and take your meat. If you got any animal fat, I'll take that too. That would be excellent to have. Getting a little bit of it. We can make some more torches and stuff. Okay. Yeah, we got a lot of meat now. Look at that. 72 meat. Excellent. But our biggest problem is we don't have water. I need some water. Let's see. That's water. It wouldn't just be a single square. So like I said before, I think we should go and search this house today. Was that a saw off shotgun? No, it's just a stone spear. Okay. Only damage 11, huh? I think he's a little bit better for the most part. I'm gonna scrap it. Also, while I'm... Let's, let's go ahead and repair the bow. Anything around for water? Nope. I wish the radius for the map was a little bit higher. 
in terms of how much you would like uncover as you move. Ooh, two bird nests next to each other. Nice. Boy, no. Seventy nine. Take it. Give me the lanky. That's right. Get on the ground. I'm curious. Is is Pummel Pete only for bubs and bats? Does it count for batons? I mean, it's a blunt weapon, right? You pummel people with it, right? I feel like it's got to count. Another zomboy? A zombie girl, I should say. Alright. There we go. Moving down like a sack of potatoes, huh? Missed that last shot, darn it. We got a panic or something here. A blue collar worker, maybe? I don't know. Hey, bud. Go ahead and die. Mirror arrows. Yep. Yeah. Not a bird nest, just playing tricks on my eyes. I'm starting to lag a bit or something. Ooh, what was that? Ooh, remove 20% more arrows and bolts from your target? Yeah, baby. What I like to see. Okay. Really, didn't die in one hit, huh? Hey, stop it. Let's rip can't repair this. I have a pipe. Oh, got some food and a grill. So, anyone here? Like it? Uh, some good food. Come on. For water. I'll take water too. Bigger can't be chooses this. Give me a pipe. Damn. You are hungry. You're hungry. But I guess I am hungry, so let's go ahead and eat this uh, food here. I'm not liking the fact that we're getting so much cornmeal. No. Clothing pile. Boots, but was it anything? I don't know. Just the back door, yep. Yeah. Cupboards here. Goldenrod, use that to uh, make a goldenrod seed. Not that we can plant it right away or anything, but. Wrap those. These are worse than my current ones. Pretty sure I already have two grills, or a grill anyway. That. All right. Moving on. Please back out to here. Bathroom with. It. Excellent. One in the closet. Anyone hiding on this side of the sofa here? Nope. Good. Pile of books. Just paper. Fortunate. I should have planted these seeds before I got in here, but that's fine. Getting a little bit over encumbered is okay. Dang, these 
huge house, huh? No one in the closet, really. Huh. Yeah. I'll take that, at least. What do I have in my head right now? That. Uh, I'll scrap that helmet. I'm starting to lag a little bit. I wonder why. Ooh, goggles. Where are those, baby? Oh, that increased my perception, huh? Well, I do have a better loot bonus with those goggles, so I will take those and wear them. I don't care too much about the perception. Okay. Let's look at the picture frame, look at the books. We got a corn recipe. Oops, didn't take the paper. Nothing. Fortunate. Okay. Ever. Zombies. Mannequin. A little disconcerting, but okay. Run out with that. Cannot. Move this chair, though. Hmm. Okay. Delicious. Anyone else up here? Hello. Zomboys. There's just a noose hanging there, though. Not ideal. Hello? No zombies, huh? Almost impressed. Dirty clothes pile. Ooh, a leather duster. Can I wear that? And that. Is there anything worth coming to up here, though? Like... What about, like, outside here? I get rid of this mannequin. Get on top of the roof. I mean, kind of. Is there a reason to? Not particularly, I don't think. Yeah. House was kind of lame, huh? <gasps> there was a reason. Hold up. over there. You are thirsty. Well, get over it. Hmm. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to cross her like this. So... Oh, I can search from here. Heck yeah. We have rocket launcher parts and a muzzle brake. I'll take it. There's no point in not taking it, right? I guess that's all. Let's go ahead and skedaddle. Get back home and put these Spikes down. Bring some of the. We have a coffee, don't we? Drink the coffee. Nothing really of importance in this house. Huh. I was expecting at least a couple more zombies or something there, but coming that. Alright. Let's head. How much wood do we got? Eh, not a whole lot. Let's chop down another tree. Oh, 
chop chop. Hey, level 11. I think we have two more skill points now. Thinking about it. All right. Let's just go up to our base here. Go ahead and break this down. Okay. So our spikes. Uh, rotate, rotate there. There. Careful with the placements so we don't mess up again. There. There, 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 and the last one goes here. I got a couple to put here if I want to. We fortify this door. Okay. So, very careful when we're coming in here. Um, I guess I can make like a sort of fortification here. So that they can't just come straight towards the door. Uh, let's make three more spikes, maybe. Put another one here, one over here, and one right there. Very careful when we come in. That's all we gotta do. All right. Down the ladder. Close the door. All right. Bring this bad boy up, and we'll toss in our stuff there. I'm gonna divert some more wood here. There. Boil some water. And while that stuff's going on, we'll go ahead and sort some material around. Brass casing should go into weapon chest. Cobblestone there. Okay. Turn this off real quick. So the question is, what gives better? We can make grilled meat or boiled meat. Let's make one boiled meat and one grilled meat quick. And we'll just see which one is better for us here. I finish real quick. There. Weapon casings. Rocket launcher parts. There. The way the feather. Although I could have just used the feather just as easily, but whatever. Pair this. Four, three, two, one, zero. Alright, which one is better for us? We have ten and five. A bit of a stamina bonus there, or we have 10, 10, 10. Boiled meat is better, it looks like. But, I mean, boiled meat's only better because it also gives water. Um, so if we... We want to maximize our resources right now, it'd be best to just make grilled meat. Because it takes the same amount of meat, but we can use more water to actually have water, right? So it makes sense. Uh, food, we'll throw that in there. Throw the rest of the. Oop, I can make one more grilled meat, it looks like. Go. Take a while to cook, though. Throw that in there. Oh, I'm just gonna eat this boiled meat now, since I need 
have that. Healing supplies, put the bandages in there. I forgot to plant these, of course, as one does. Take some of the pipe and leave it here in my inventory. Alright, looks good. Okay. Alright, what can I make with my forge right now? I could make some forged iron. Um, a lot of that stuff. I could make metal bars and stuff, which we don't need right now. I could make some iron arrowheads and actually make some iron stuff, right? Um, I could make some glass panes. Doesn't really matter too much there. Other hand, what do we need to make a bat? I think a bat is stronger than my current thing, right? Don't scrap from chunk. That's a decent punch. Hmm. What repairs the baseball bat? Or a pair kit? That would be the difference here. I could make a baseball bat. I could. I want to see what I can make with forged iron. How do I do that? What if I just grab forged iron? Click on it here. I don't know recipes. There we go. So I can make a bucket, which I might want to do, because if I can find water, I can bring it back, right? Let's craft a bucket. Burning barrel, iron, metal furniture, metal pipe. We got a bucket, beverage cooler. Cement mixer, which I can't make because I don't have a workbench. Iron cellar doors. Sledgehammer, uh, which we don't have access to craft yet. Lock picks. Ooh, I could make lock picks. That's cool. At some point. Not quite yet, though. An AK-47 machine gun. Nice. Metal plates. Got light beams. Messy. Blade traps. Claw hammer. All this stuff's locked at this point, though. So I don't think it matters too much here. Turn that off. Turn that off. Eat another one of these. Drink a little as well. All right, the bucket's done. Perfect. Time is it? Fifteen hundred. Okay. All right, what do we got for skill points right now? We got one point left. Okay. So that's the thing. Make a baseball bat. Um, get more damage. That. Okay. Yeah, well, the question is, what do I want to do, right? I've been leveling up strength a bit, right? So I could do more stuff, but also being able to make up the workbench would open up more recipes for us. But it requires four intelligence, so that's quite a lot that we would need to get here, right? Also, the uh, position would be good so we can craft chemistry stations, first aid bandages, that kind of stuff. There's just so much that we could get, right? Like Cutthroat, for example, would allow us to do more sneak attack damage, which would be really helpful, to be honest. That means we can craft hunting rifles. Ugh, man. We are using our bow a lot, right? So it would make sense if we upgraded our bow and actually make a decent bow, right? Let's do that. And... Not a permanent bow, a wooden bow. I need bow or crossbow parts. How do I get those? I 
make them. Hmm. Well, that was a waste of a point if I can't make a wooden bow. Hmm. Well, that is uh, unfortunate. It also requires a repair kit to make, or repair anyway. Well, what does the actual skill say here? Archery. You can craft quality two poor bows, okay? Which would be the primitive bow here. Gotcha. I can make bullet casings. I think that's the only thing I can make with brass, right? It's bullet casings. I believe so. I don't have gunpowder to use anything with though, so that's another thing. Uh, okay. Here is the plan, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna make our way out. We're gonna run to the trader real quick. Like, real quick. And, uh, see if we can get a quest from them. Go! And then with the quest, we can have a target somewhere to go to. And we'll use that target as a kind of area that we can try and find water at. If we can find some water, we can fill up our bottles of water. We can also take a bucket of water back. And hopefully, I'm not too sure about the mechanics of carrying water in a bucket uh, nowadays. But if we do that, hopefully we'll be able to... Also, I need to plant these before they start just clogging on my inventory and doing nothing here. Let's just plant them on the way to the... Am my guy just screaming? I think it was. But yeah, we'll need to attempt to get water some way or another. Let we'll the guy live. We don't have time. We need to get there before the guy closes. I'm finding way too many bird nests right now. It's weird. I usually don't find this many. So there's a couple of different jobs that we can get from the trader. One of them is finding buried treasure. One of them is something like uh, clearing out a house. I think one of them is just killing zombies or something like that. Okay, the game is starting to lag. I'm going to adjust the graphic settings here. Not ultra, by gods. If we go to low, what is the difference between medium and low? Medium has shadows and better water quality. We don't really even see water, so let's turn that off. Let's also turn the shadows off. But we'll do like a sort of, you know, mix between medium and high, right? I'm gonna turn the grass distance off because grass sucks. And if it's low, that means I can shoot stuff easier from way down the, uh, the way there, so that'll be good. Motion blur will, of course, turn off. Reflection quality. Whenever do I really look at reflections? Not, not too often. Um, terrain quality, medium, object quality. Fine, let's try this. We still have some up here. They're all diluted. Had to check. Never know. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Hey, lady, what's up? Um, got any jobs? We got clear zombies, buried supplies, fetch. Clear zombies, or that. What is the closest one you got? Clear zombies. Yeah. 
Do it. I always admired a, a good feeling about you. Okay, good luck. so it is over there in the city. All right. A little bit brave, so let's go and uh, deal with this now, huh? So the thing about these quests are, if it's in a building, you can actually like clear the building first and then activate the quest. Or at least you used to be able to do that. I don't know if it's still the thing now, but... Here? Yeah, so if, if I were to clear this once and then activate this, it would respawn all the zombies of loot inside of it. But we don't have much time, so I'm not going to do that. Also, we have to stay within this area now, so... I'm hitting, sir. Stop resisting arrest, sir! There we go. Got him. Okay. This bad boy out. Clear the next room. Clear. Someone's wrecking something. Leave that open. Did I search the toilet? I did not. A mistake. I was kind of hoping for somewhere further away, but. You're not supposed to fall on the ground, sir. Go. Oh, that's closed. Let's loot this room. Ooh, nice. Okay, it, it's still lagging a little bit. I don't know why. I guess because there's more stuff here in the actual city, right? No, let's just go lowest. Lowest possible settings. Ooh, we're a fast boy now. Look at that. An arrow. A moldy backpack. Ooh. That is actually better than what we currently have, so let's wear that. We'll scrap that. Dang, I'm on something around there. Damn it. Why? Why am I getting my butt kicked by this one guy? Okay. Close the door. I see that hidden block there. I think I don't. So let's pick this first. With any luck, we will do it on the first try. That'd be amazing, right? First try? Of course not. With any luck, we'll be able to clear this on the... before the night falls. And we can kind of hunker down here. Well, okay. Safe finished. We got a scope and some money. Okay. Not, not the greatest, but... Not bad. Grab that. Oh. Hiding stuff for me, huh? We got a, a craft explosive arrows and crossbow bolts. Wait. Did I learn it or did I scrap it? I fucking scrapped it. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Well, that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Win some, you lose some, as they say. Downstairs next. Someone is still breaking things down here, I think.
Thank God for that hatchet hit right there. I think I was angry. Oh my God, there's a underground. Of course there's an underground. I can shoot through the door, right? Apparently not. Or he just did a. You're dead? Why are you dead? Although having that door destroyed is not ideal, since it is nighttime. Encumbered, yeah, no crap. What we got back here? Ooh, food pile. I'm just gonna stand up so this goes by faster. Yeah. Everything there searched. Larry is searched. Finish this room off, and we can go down to the bottom. Set up supplies. Chair, wooden chair, something hidden there. There. Luggage I can't do anything with. Nothing there. All right, excellent. Do I have a arrow notched? I do not. I do now. All right, let's real quick sort through some stuff here. Use that. Scrap those. Um. Scrap all that. Go ahead and use these blueberries. I don't do much, but better than just having them take up my inventory. Go ahead and use this miso soup. Scrap those. Drop the chrysanthemum. Uh, let's go ahead and scrap these nails. There we go. All right, basement time. Or not. Fantastic. Crap, going down the stairs, I forgot, increases your speed, and I destroyed that laundry basket. Lovely. Falling on the stairs should like injure them. Seriously. Players if it did. One more zombino here. Not? It was. Right there. Got him. All right, excellent. And that, uh, wrap that up. Are there any more zombies around? I don't want to find out that there are. But I think the, the, the quest, while it tells you to clear the area, sometimes it can actually be like, just kill this one particular zombie in this area. Ooh. We have one hour left of daylight. I don't think we're going to be able to get to the trader before they close again. We got a, an oil schematic? Nice. Now I just got to not scrap it like I did the last book I grabbed. Okay. Ammo supply. Arrows. Okay. What's this? Attack speed increased by 10% with a spear. Hmm. Not great, but uh, nothing, I suppose. All right, let's learn the rest of these books. I think I already knew that, though.
You gotta craft a robotic drone morale booster. Schematic. Oil. This is a dark trap. Scrap that, scrap that, scrap that. Added leg armor. Wear that, of course. Uh, this helmet increases my noise. Yeah. Wait, where? Really don't like that. There's zombies pounding away at something up there. Floor up here. Okay. Take a look. Right, so that building across from me there is basically destroyed. We're gonna find a thing there. We're gonna have to be careful now. Uh, try anything risky. I could very easily die. I could run and get back to home. I'm going to use these real quick. I have a huge stack of them. Uh, and that means I can also take this right there. Get another spot. What's my water doing? Not too bad, but not great either. Let's go ahead and eat this food. I think I need to. Then let's drink this yucca juice. Free up a slot. What can I use broken glass for? I can use it for a scope, huh? Also, you can eat it if you want to die. You can just eat the broken glass, and it'll uh, kill you, of course. Okay, let's. I'm trying to think what we should do here. Uh, first of all, let's make more stone arrows. That'll get rid of that. Let's drop the glass, the coffee, the bones. Can I put anything on this? Can I, like, modify this and put the scope on? And Excellent. Complete. Which now gives me this scope here. Nice. Also, I need to load this. Do that. Okay. It is now nighttime. It is not the ideal time to be here. Okay. Real quick, let's go ahead and repair our axe. What else do we have that I can easily just drink and get rid of? So I can. I can drink this beer if we need to. We have other space. This bandage, I'm gonna just throw away. Some regular bandages aren't that important. And uh, yeah, so where are we at here? Quite a ways from anything important. What is that building? Uh, Rip Club or something maybe? Okay. There's, looks like a graveyard there, maybe. Uh, what, is, what, is, what is that building? Ooh. Could potentially be a good loot source, maybe? Let's make some frames. Ten frames. For right now, I'm going to replace the shovel with these here. If I do this, I can go across here. Onto this roof. And get a better look. 
years, huh? And that place is called. Oh, I can even zoom in further. Nice. That place seems like it would be a chop shop or a car thing, right? We'll find some gas there. In fact, I think that might be a thing we can get gas from as well. The thing is, if we move out while it is night, we try to clear a place, it's going to be risky. But I don't want to sit on top of this roof until morning. It's also something I don't want to do. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Uh, maybe we check out this garage? No. Closed up. I don't want to deal with that right now. Be as quiet as possible. I'm going to sneak across the road. Gonna search this. Okay. Throw the bone away. I don't need that. Search this mailbox. Ooh, we got. Learn how to craft flannel shirts, skirts, and skull caps. Might as well learn it. Rusty barrel. Oof. I'm very visible here. Also, not sure if there's going to be any traps in this place. It looks like the kind of place that would have some traps, right? We're also not dealing with zombies that are slow and walking. They're going to be running at me. That's a dog. Oh, get fucked, dog. You got one hit on me, but I'm gonna kill you now. Karate, too. Let's stay here for a moment. Um, can I hit this from here? I cannot. Let's be constructive, so I'll get a bunch of rotten flesh. That'll help us out. The dogs are fast regardless of what time of day it is. So, kind of a good measure that we, uh, oops, bought it here. I can lurk there, not like it. Okay. A little closer. There we go. I'm going to try and stay off the ground here at least a little bit. Um, it might be beneficial if I make a chest real quick. Then I can slam this chest down, put all my loot that I have currently inside of it. And just come back for it in the morning. I think I don't really need to do that. Put these back down here. All right. So I can come back for that chest later today. But it's actually day out. For now, let's keep looting this area. Anything I find in this garage, I'll, I'll be putting right back into the chest as well, so... I think that's everything. Bridge, don't have anything there. Alright. Let me... put that away. Drags. Of course, I can't jump very high when I'm crouched. Fortunate. I can do that, though. Alright. Shit. Of course, there's a bird here. Direct bird. Very easy to kill with that weapon. I like it. I'm gonna throw the bones away. I don't need them right now. Go ahead and just toss them. Keep the rest. Let me check something here. Okay. That, which is uh, just oiled trash. Scrap those right away. Another one here, which is a sports bag. What does this baby have in it? Ooh, we got some more boots, but I already have something better, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Anything else up here? 
No. Anyone down there I can snipe. Shoot the other side too. Okay. Uh, leaper down there, I don't like that. Make too much noise, he'd come up here. So let's land on this bed. What the hell? Where do you come from? Anyone see where she came from? This is bad now. I don't have a good way to get back up. We're gonna be stuck down here. Too much, man. Come there. Come there. Oh, I got him. Nice. Okay. But there is a lot of stuff happening here. A lot of boys that are just upset right now. Take a moment and just uh, assess the situation here. We've got this guy. Oh my god, I, I released it too early. Plenty of arrows right now, so... Take out who I can, who's around here that's just pounding on stuff. You over here? Yeah, right there. Hello there, lady. Please don't attack that wall. Thank you. Anyone else attacking around here? Not that I can see. Okay. Wouldn't. Oh, so that opens the door, but doesn't keep the door closed. Okay. That could have gotten a lot worse. I mean, everything can go a lot worse, you know. Finish clearing this area real quick. There's someone. That was scary. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on. Actually, I... Uh, it's too easy if I can get the rotten flesh from there, huh? Room's clear now. Is that a closet? I think it is. Always do this. Not who Harry I thought they were going to be. Can you just stop, sir. To your feet. Jeez. No other zombies woke up from that. My God. So is there not someone in here? Oof. I'm gonna just go up here and Whoop. come on. Come 
Oh my god. Seriously? That was all my lockpicks? Oh, you jerks. Steel armor parts. Okay. Required lockpick. Well, let's scrap that, scrap that, scrap that. Um, go ahead and use this bandage. It'll heal me up a little bit. Scrap that. Iron crossbow bolt. Scrap that. Use these blueberries. Not gonna increase my health by a lot, or my food by a lot, but it'll help a little. More. I'll eat this too. And we'll scrap the tin can that comes here. Okay, perfect. Oh, there's a hidden tile here. Oh, we got a flashlight, nice. Put that flashlight on a gun and so we have a flashlight while we're doing stuff too. Perfect. Okay. That one's here. Come on, lady. Back up. Oh, there's two. Crap, there's two. Cushion, really, right now? Oh crap. Friend wall. Okay. Whew. We got him. I'm oh, banging on that now. Close this door. Look at them bashing on the walls, man. Almost day. We just gotta survive a little bit. I'm not sure what a concussion does. We got we got a fire axe. You know what? No, I don't like this. I knew I didn't like this. I was gonna go out and kill him, but I guess since this guy's in, we're gonna have to kill him first. Stop it! If I'm stunned, oh my god, and I'm dead. We were so close to daylight. Got an achievement to die 14 times, though. Yeah. I don't think I died 14 times in this game, though. On my bed. Damn it. Lost 25% of my experience. Well, shoot. How much forged iron can I make? Well, let's wait until daylight comes. I'll just do some of this. I don't think I get experience. Oh, I do get experience for that, huh? I'm going to do experience per bar. What I thought. We'll wait until it's just about 4 o'clock. And then we'll head back. Man, that was rough. We, we were doing so well. And I, I, I got... I was like, oh, there's people banging at the walls. That's fine. I'll just continue looting instead of going up and dealing with them from the safety of the roof. That was entirely my fault. Can't believe I did that. So let's go back, get my stuff. Um, finish clearing that area. Do birds' nests just like refill immediately or something? Or like. 
Am I just really lucky? Keep trying to go towards the traitor because it has a uh, some waypoint. Hey, Hyrule King. Thanks for the follow, my dude. How come? We uh, just died and we're going back to get our loot. Running out of stamina here. Fortunate. Cans. I will go ahead and just scrap those immediately. Go. At least when you're, you know, not carrying anything, you can move fast. That's always nice. So. That's a positive. You can get back there pretty quick. Avoid that zombie. I love this game too, Hyrule King. Arguably, like, the, the best zombie game that you can, like, get your hands on. There's a crawler there. It regenerates some stamina, so I have it. Further. How did he get in? Wait, you just walked through that. What are you doing, sir? That's rude. There you go. Wait, is my... My pipe is broken? That's rude. Okay. Just started a few days ago. Aw, oh, man. I've been playing since it, like, first released. Which was, like, years ago now. It's changed so much from when I first started playing. But it's, it's still really fun and amazing. I love building all the crazy bases and stuff. Sure, I need you to die a little bit, will you? Oh man, the, the devs of this game are great. They always release a bunch of new stuff. And, like, they're constantly working on it. They've been working on it for years, like I said. Dang. Big guys are rough to deal with. Well, at least now I should have a couple minutes. Zombies are walking now, too, so we're better. But it does release a lot of updates. Like, they'll work on stuff for a while and release it, and it's just, it's just great. And it's still an alpha. It's not even like a, a beta or anything. It's still just in like the very early stages, according to them. Like, honestly, it could just be a game in itself by now, but... Multiplayer with friends is really fun. I've never really been into kind of like the survival games with like random people though. Because it always seems to be like you'll join a server and people will be, you know, really geared. And there's like always like some people who like specifically run that server that if you encounter them, they'll, they'll just kill you and take your stuff. At least that's been my experience in games like Rust and stuff. So. Never really played much. D and D, not uh, Debit Daylight. Not Debit Daylight, oh my god. Seven days to die on multiplayer servers, so. I don't know how it is on the community for this game, but. Chemistry Station. Ah, we got more cornbread, of course. Ah, another safe that I can't get into because I do not have lockpicks right now. I'll just keep banging at the walls. Back to this area. Is there anything else in this area? I don't see anything up there. So this is all cleared out. Toilet's cleared. All right, let's break down some stuff, learn what we can. Learn the iron tool schematics. Crap that. Um, dangerous. Cats are often do more damage against mountain lions. Use that. Scrap that. Drop the bones. Uh, hunting knife schematic. Use that, of course. Drop the coffee. Drop the sham sandwich because that causes dysentery. The cotton seed. I'll take that. I think I already have a pipe pistol, but go ahead and scrap the crossbow. Scrap that. I've already got a bike chassis, so I'll hold on to that. I guess I can't scrap it. Let's use this band-aid.
Zombies really want to get in right now. I need to get out of this area. Okay, now I have a little more of a space to move around than if a zombie does get in. Alright. I think the trader is open now. Can I walk through this? I can. Weird. Didn't expect I could. Let's go say hi to our trader friend and turn in this quest. We can also sell them some stuff that we don't need. Great. What day is it? Day seven. Ooh, today is Horde Night. Leave. I already got that bird nest. Never mind. Now I guess the question is, want to keep looting stuff or just prepare for Horde Night? Hmm. I am so good job. How's it going, lady? I knew you could do it. All right. So I can get either a spear hunter, which I don't use spears, or harvest more from ores with a mining pick or stone axe when buzzed from coffee. I guess we're taking that one. So take the experience in that. What else you got for jobs? Um. The closest is this one. If you Let's this go for a buried supplies. Thanks, I knew you wouldn't let me down. What you got in your inventory? All right, let's sell this. Um, take this pistol. Anything else that I want to sell to her right now? You want this cornmeal? How about this? Uh, the steel parts. There you go. How about shale? Nah, I don't want to buy shale for very much. Okay. What do you have? Urban combat. Craft military stealth boots, which have no stamina penalty for moving. Oh, that's cool. It's a little bit expensive, but cool. Shotgun Messiah Volume 4. You can now craft shotgun slugs. Oh. A robotic sledge. What is this? You may not be good at punching, but you have that technology. You can deploy this using on the ground using a secondary action. So it's like a melee range turret? Weird. I don't want to deal with that. Um, what else we got? This is a tier 5 pipe rifle. Dang. Not that expensive either. I don't want it though. AP ammo, we got cornmeal, we got gun mods. That stuff. Our stool, trip wire, padded boots, lock picks. Is this each? Yeah, they're way too expensive to buy. Small pipes. Put the crafted block on your hotbar and hold the reload action to change the shape. But what are they for? Anything? Can you do anything with them? Well, let's see. Duct tape, metric powder, yada, yada, yada. Hmm. Nothing I really need right now. So I think I'm good. Yeah. I don't really want to sell anything else currently. What was this urban combat? I can craft military stealth boots, but I think I'm going to need a lot more in order to get that. So hold on for now. Back on slugs. Any other books? Doesn't look like it. I could get the rifle. It does a little more damage than our current one, but I don't think it's enough to warrant spending money right Remember now. Remember me so. if you need medical we'll supplies. All right, so she wants me to go over there to get those buried supplies. Oof. Do I do it? Well, let's drink this beer first. And I'll learn this book. And I will move my axe here, I'll modify that, modify put that on there, excellent, what do I need to do? repair this, a repair kit, okay, I have a repair kit, so that's fine, let's grab that iron axe, also I forgot about my other loot stash, uh, the blurriness.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, crawler. The beer should regenerate some of my stamina here while we're just running. I need to pick up my shovel from that loot stash I dropped. Totally forgot about. Also loot this plastic barrel. Murky water, okay. Let's go this doghouse. Weird if I could. All right, so back into here. Shovel, let's take everything that we can. Oh, I can actually fit everything too. Excellent. And I'm not that over encumbered by it. Okay. Jump that she if I can. We are a little bit overburdened right now, but I think we'll be fine. We've just got to make it back for Horde Night. All we got to do. Should be pretty simple. He says. We'll see. We'll see how simple it actually is, you know. A rabbit running across the road there. We should at least be able to get this and get back to the trader with a uh, fairly quick time. I guess it really depends on how quickly we can get the treasure, though. Oh, surely. I can away there. Okay, buried treasure. Activate the relay. So it's somewhere in this circle. So let's just start digging right here. Come on, luck. Come on, luck. Oops. layer down. I forget how far down the treasure is buried. Find some though. A lot of clay. Getting close to the treasure it says. Okay. We just clear the area. There's a zombie right there. Oh, that's a chicken, never mind. is. He's within range for me to kill him. I need you to die, Crawler, so you don't get in the hole with me. I'm leveled up, too. Nice. Okay. Well, I'm getting closer, so... Down here further? Shouldn't be further than the dirt layer. Oh, I think we're hitting the edge of the place. Maybe it's not this direction. Oh, arrow it down. We're like, maybe we're not going in the right direction at all. It's nice that it uh, reduces the radius as you dig. There. A very food stash, though. Hope we need to get out. Get to the knees. A 
Okay. Not going ideal. Back is good. Let's finish this guy off. Can you not though, sir? Got him. All right. Reaper arrows. And we'll head back to Trader after I really quickly sort through some stuff. Charge me. Go ahead and use that right now. Use this miso soup as well. Grab the plant fibers. Grab that. All right, move the position of that. Yeah, that's fine. All right. We'll head back to the Trader now. Then we'll head back home and finish any fortification we need to do before the server uh, not the sir, before the board comes. We also got a nice fire axe, so we can chop down a lot more wood if we have to. Yeah. Surely. Take a little extra experience while we're moving. Go. Arrows, thank you. Oh, that whipped. Alright, get down. Excellent. Clean it looks like. Okay, stamina regen a little bit here, so let's take this lady out. There we go. Excellent. It's so slow when you're carrying a lot. Almost there. Once we get there, we can sell a couple other things that we have. It'll really free up a lot of weight for us. Got some nice knuckle dusters there. I'm gonna use that real quick to where to those. Do I have feathers in my inventory? I think I do. 44 of them. Yep, let's get rid of that. I can move this up there. Do I not have stone? Hmm. I'm out of stone. Okay. That is a thing. I'm not going to pick any up right now, though. <laughs> Trader Joe's! Or Joel. I thought it was just Joe. Not that the person here is named Joe or anything. Yo, Jen. Talk to Jen. Um, meds, drugs, booze. A I've got it all. Helmet light mod. I will take that to be actually honest. Let's see your inventory. Um. Wait, where'd that alcohol I had go? There it is. Oh yeah, that's a nice bunch of caps right there. I said caps, but okay. Uh, anything else that I can sell? How much do you want for gasoline? You only want two. Two bucks gas. I could sell it all to you right now. I think a, it's six each, is it? Oh no, a hundred is two. Never mind. How about a wheel? Sixty. Okay, not, not worth it. Bones? Nope, you don't. Coffee's apparently expensive for her. But whatever. 
still don't have anything new, right? Yeah, nothing new. All right. Well, thanks for the I'll business. Take what I got and leave. We're open from dawn to dusk, since you know we don't have clocks. I think I can modify that, right? And now, if I hit F, I can just have a light. Excellent. Oh, that's perfect. Just in time for Horde Night as well. Hey, buddy. Oh. Get away from Dr. Jen's place. Oh, that meaty sound he was making when he hit the ground. Gross. All right. A little bit faster now that we have a couple slots freed, but we're still a little slow. Okay. Need to get back home. Wait, what was here? What item was here? I got wood, stone, and that. I'll have to restore my inventory, I think. After picking it all back up, I think I just randomized it and didn't put it back where it was at, except for my hotbar. Oh, I forgot to grab a new quest, too. Darn it. Well, no matter. We'll just run that for now. How about if we have the stump while we're waiting? Break in our fire axe here. Excellent. Also, I should probably repair my shovel real quick. There we go. Probably should repair the bow. Since we have a little bit of time. Okay. I don't think there's much else I have to do to the base in order to make it work. Or at least like to be near it and finish up our day near it before the horde comes, you know. There's always extra preparation you can do, and you should do it, if you have the chance. Free garbage, hell yeah. Alright, getting there, a little surely. Ah, oh, no. Not the aircraft now. Well, maybe we can do that today, then, for the rest of the time, since we have 10 hours left before night falls. So let's drop what we currently have and go get that supply drop, because it is a little bit of a distance away. We can make it there, though, I think. I have faith. Maybe we'll find some water while we're there, too, and we can fill up our stuff. You know? All right, let's just... Ease in between bikes. There we go. Hop down into our bunker. All right, materials. I forgot to sell the cash. Oh my god, that's fine. Let's put the seeds like that. There we go. All right, store all this nonsense. The wheels stack, the wheels stack. Excellent. All right. Um, take this brass that quick. What about you? Do you have anything new cooking? You do not. But you have boiled water that I can do that with. There we go. Foods, store that. Store this flashlight and the shotgun shells there. Anything else I'm carrying right now that I want to get rid of? I got this yarn there and this lead. It needs to be melted down, but I'll just store it in here for now. Um, get range a little bit here. Make it look nice. Go. You looking? You're almost done. Are you looking? 40 seconds left. And turn it off. Just 
reinforced iron. Put iron in here. What did I need this meat for again? Recipes. Right, the plot of farmland. That's what it was. I needed clay and nitrate powder to finish that. Go ahead and craft four of them. I can start farming and that'll be really nice. All right, come on, a little more. There we go. Water's done. I take a lot of farm stuff to finish up, so let's just go ahead and get out of here. Head towards that. Airdrop. Who we get? If any luck, we'll get something pretty cool. Ooh, Deer Hunter. Go ahead and grab that. I don't know if it's letting you use the same magazine multiple times or not. That's what I'm kind of curious about. Like, I feel like I had one magazine that I used once already. That I used again. Usually, like previously, it didn't tell you that. Oh, hey, you, uh... It'll tell you that you've already known something and you can't read it again. I don't know if they're letting you do that or not. Anyway. Twenty-two. That means we have seven, eight, nine hours. So as long as this trip doesn't take us four and a half hours, we should be pretty good on time. Maybe this will be where we find a lake too. That'd be, that'd be great. Or at least a river or something. Something with water, please. I a lot of iron is up around here. Over this hill. Ooh. Nope, no water. Not yet anyway. Find it. How's the map look? Nothing. Okay, that's I got 200 meters though. You never know what you can find at 200 meters. And our stamina a little bit. Take out some frustration on this guy by not finding any water. Right in the eye. Very good shot. Ooh, another one right in the eye. Oh, well, I guess that was a throw, huh? That's fine. Look at the eye from when he was messing around. Ow! Why do you suddenly won, dude? Not nice. All right, we notched another arrow. Um, let me move these blocks off of here so I can start punching this golden rod. I might as well get golden rod while we're out and about. See it? Da 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 Getting there. Almost there. Regen some stamina before we hit it, though. Go there. Supply crate. What do we got? We got ammo, crafting bundle, and we got grilled meat recipe. I already know the grilled meat recipe. I know that much. I don't see any water. Damn. We're just out of luck, huh? When it comes to cereals. Hey, chicken. Can you die for me? Probably not. Got it. Nice. Never hurts to stock up on some meat while we're out and about. Out of the zombie this direction. Ah, my bird. Also got some more feathers for our bow. Really no water around, huh? Did someone the seed anywhere? Well, nope. 
I don't think I've pickaxe yet. I don't remember if I can or not. And I don't want to use the fire axe on rocks. You want to get some more stone and stuff. This is an ammo crate, so let's open that up. Oh, it's a do-it-yourself ammo crate. Oh, okay, I see how it is. Not actually ammo in it, but it's a crate filled with here, some shell casings, some gunpowder, and some bullets. Did it even give me gunpowder? It did not. Oh, it did. Never mind. I saw it. It was hiding. Come on, lady. You're not supposed to dodge. You're not supposed to dodge. Ooh, she dropped a loot bag. Nice. Mining helmet, too. I just found a, a helmet with a light. Or I just got a light for a helmet, so I don't really need the mining helmet right now. Too bad. All right, well, we're getting a little bit surely closer to home. We'll get there eventually. Modify. Got on it. Oh, a headlamp. Okay. Go ahead and scrap that, scrap that. Eat these peas. Let's scrap that can. There we go. Oh, we're not over encumbered. We need a mining helmet. We already got this thing. All right. Let's drop off our gear and get really only what we need, and then we'll uh, try to continue fortifying a little we can. Oh, right, I don't have a... All right, I can just make a clawed hammer now. Let's do that. Yep. Is that? No. All right. So, ammunition. Parts and stuff will go in here. Go. I already know the grilled meat. I know it. So let's see, can I use it again? I do. I guess I get experience, but do I get experience normally or not? I don't know. Well, for that there. The feathers, the bone, that and that. Healing supplies, I'll store that. Store how many eggs actually? Can I make bacon and eggs now or not? I can! Excellent. We're gonna make as much as we can of it. I can also boil some eggs, but I don't want to waste the eggs on it, you know? Okay. Store the meat. Store the eggs. Go ahead and store this water here as well. Might as well. Okay. My bacon and eggs are done. Two, one, zero. There we go. Up. Put that stuff in here for safekeeping. All right. Let's see. In order to make the clot hammer, I need 12 forged iron, leather, duct tape. Okay. Leather, uh, duct tape, forged iron. Is that lightning? Claw hammer. Claw hammer is used for repairing and upgrading base walls, but not as a weapon. Okay, that's fine. That there. I have these iron arrows. Do I really need these? Not really. I could scrap them, but I'm going to hold on to them for right now. And then let's take this.
So I can take those and let's see. Take our potato seeds. Take a golden rod. Take the yucca. Okay, so let me recipes. Golden rod seed. Craft. Put that in there. Okay. So if I take this stuff now, I can I cannot plant there? How does this work? What? Plant these seeds in a craftable farm plot goes to harvest. Yeah, okay, so I put it there, right? Like, what, what, what do I do now? It gave me it back. Do I have to build it outside? Six block, hold reload action. It doesn't say that I have to hold, do it outside. Let me try a, a different feed. Does it not like being that close to the wall? Okay, what if I put this here? Can I use this here? No. Okay, so. Maybe it just does not like being underground. I'll try going upstairs and using it out there. I haven't used these plots before, so I don't know how they work. Um, let's melt some more iron down while we're at it. Nope, nope. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Almost fell. I was trying to jump on the ladder because I'm an idiot. Okay. Carefully. Let's grab this. Where to build it at, though? That's the question. Um, I guess we can go a little ways away. And I'll just, like, build it here? Can I put it here now? I can, okay. Excellent. There's the yucca, there's the aloe, and here is a golden rod. Excellent. Okay. So it's all... I'm gonna be mad if I destroyed the seed. Okay, perfect. So that's all set to go. This is perfect weather for a uh, destruction and death. Okay. The only thing we can really do right now is build more spikes. I think that's what we'll do. We'll just build more spikes and go from there. These trees are not adult yet. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll leave them alone. I'll go a little bit further away from the base. Back for uh, a horde comes. Might have just planted these ones too, to be honest. I'm pretty sure I planted these trees. <laughs> Whatever. They're an eyesore. Get rid of them. This tree looks like it's nice and tall. I can probably get it. That one's also big. I can get that one too. Oh yeah. Is this a zombie? That is a nice amount, too. Even more spikes, please. Yeah! Keep an eye on the 
surroundings. I definitely want to be ready prior to 2200. into my base, it's too late. Not gonna be a good time. I keep sprinting towards the next tree, forgetting that even if I get to the next tree quicker, I'm not gonna have stamina to chop it down. How's my water doing? I can drink a coffee. Come on. One more good hit. Got it. Okay. I'm still crafting spikes? I'm not. 22. Grab another batch. Trees on this side of the road. I'm gonna get a little more lumber from this one. One more hit, maybe two. This little baby tree, let's take it down too. Alright. I might as well do this one as well while we're out here. Last tree though. Spikes still. Let's uh first of all get rid of the grass. I don't like it. Yeah, the grass. The grass is just gonna make things harder. surrounding the outside edge of the base here. I'm not sure if this will be enough to actually surround it or not. It might be just enough, actually. I can put another one over here. I can really do right now without having to go and get a bunch more things done here. Let's see. Let's get out my pistol. My pistol ammo. I will go ahead and store this stuff here. 
Turn off the forge. That and that. Swap out the shovel for that. Is it one bullet or six? Looks like six. Excellent. That'll come in handy. I'm going to remove everything that I do not need off of the hot bar. So I don't get confused. And I'll also put my ammo down here so I know how much I have. That'll really help me out, I think. Oops, I need those pipes, actually. Put that away. All right, and now we'll just eat a little bit to uh, get our morale up. Hmm. Although, if I eat the bacon, it increases health, right? Yeah, I don't know. Do it anyway. Use it. Then we'll drink some water. Let's see how this works for our health. How's our stats looking down there? Looking pretty good. They're going up. Man, bacon is a lot. Like, that's ideally what you want to make. I wonder if everyone loves it. All right, looks like we're good there. So we have less than an hour left. Um, let me get cobblestone. Uh, cobblestone and wood is really all I need to repair stuff right now, along with the metal that I already have that I always have. Get up top. We're ready to prepare to defend our base. Please go. All right, so we'll crouch. And while we have some time here, I do have a perk point. I could use it in Gunslinger to get some more use out of this pistol, but I mainly use the rifle, so Deadeye might be the one to go with, right? Increases reload and aim. Do more damage. Wouldn't be bad. I don't know, man. The question ain't it. Thinking of overall progression. I might just go with Hidden Strike. Because that way we do a little extra damage for sneak attacks. And I don't need to repair this. Short Iron Pipes. Excellent. Let's repair that. And this one is a Short Iron Pipe as well. Repair that. Excellent. All right. All guns are reloaded. My bow is also good. Might as well repair this while we're waiting. I want to make sure everything's in top shape for this. Okay, we got roughly 40 bullets of each type. A little extra for arrows. That's going to be great. We have our lamp on our head that we can use. So overall, we should be really prepared. We just got to wait now. Depending on how close they spawn, I think I'll use my rifle first. Try and pop some heads. And then I'll use my pistol as they get in closer. And then the bow if I need to. I'm kind of trying to think how to do this properly. That storm off in the distance is really adding to the ambiance of this, ain't it? Oh boy. It's the calm before the storm. So, if they hit any of these sides, they should be pretty much ruined. 
think I want to stay away from the door top side, right? So if I stay more like over here, depending on where they spawn, they'll attack this side first and not try to go for the door necessarily. Yeah. I'll see what happens. We'll just kind of try to stay off in this corner. We'll see where they spawn from. Shoot down from here, so that's good. And if I have to, I can get inside to repair walls and stuff. If they uh, start doing too much damage. And still shoot out. A couple more seconds now. Oh man, that's eerie as hell. Any second now. The night has come. Didn't even kill her. Out of that time. Ooh, loot box, okay. Shame I don't get the kill for that, though. Come on, y'all, run over here. Kill the gun if I want to get kills, actually, huh? Good experience. Oh. You dead, sir? Another one. Careful with our aim. Reload, reload, reload. We'll expand the hammer now. Going down. Got to reload. I'm not counting my shots. Taking some hits. A little panic now. The door's not lasting long now. Right. One more bullet. Yep, I got one at least. Oh my god. I got one ready. Missed him. Crap. Uh oh, they're in. I don't really have a way to uh, deal with this now. Was the rift off? Oh my god! Ah, re! Did I fall down? I must have. Oh boy. The leg is sprained. Ain't that just a kick in the face? Up. 
I'm gonna die. Yep. Ah. That abrasion really got me there. I think, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, that didn't go great. How many weapons? Not really, huh? Um, wood, plants, and stone. I don't have any of that down here, huh? <clears throat> well. And I can't really go up any further, because if I go up, they're just going to, uh, kill me. So we'll have to go out the other way. Are they all dead? Do they just... Is that what happens? Do you just die on the horde and then it... And they all bugger off? Or... I guess that's what happens. Well... We didn't do great. Sword Knight. We managed to get some experience, but not a whole lot. We did level up one more time, though. That's great. Um, I'm gonna put a point in Pack Mule. Well. We didn't really survive much, huh? Game. I got damaged. All right, door. Move this stuff out of my inventory now, at least. Yep. Resecured. That's resecured. I'm trying to open the hatch and just let like one or two in. They all kind of started rushing me, and that was not not the ideal scenario. Okay. I'm gonna sort out what we managed to pick up from the zombie. Um, actually, wait, didn't wasn't there another bag over here? I don't think about it. Or did that one like despawn or get damaged? Oh, it's out there. No. Grab it. Couple of them. Nice. We'll go repair the ones we can. Wasting time. I'm not sure what the hitbox is for these. This side weathered it pretty well. With that, everything should be pretty much secured. Or re secured, I should say. Now all we have to do is uh, resort our inventory again. Resort this stuff here. Yeah, once they got through the first door, they really didn't leave us much choice of what we had to do. So we just kind of got massacred at that point, right? Go ahead and scrap this item. Scrap that. Let's see. 
pipes there, the repair kits here and there and there. What's this? A goldenrod tea. Okay. Iron shells can go there, those arrows can go there. Pistol can go down there. Pistol took a lot of durability damage, but it did help us to kill a lot of them. Like, a real good amount, too. So, that really helped, I think. Come on. The stuff in here. We can eat this cat food or dog food later. Okay. And turn it off. Well, that could have definitely gone better. What time is it? Seven o'clock? Okay. Well, our first horde night did not go quite as we had planned course but you know what that's just kind of what happens you know when you uh, die a bunch like that i need bicycle handlebars but i need a workbench for that can i make a workbench no i need to have the schematic in the advanced engineering crap well that's fine this is our map so far, and there's no water anywhere around. I'm glad I went with the smallest size map and not a huge one. Because uh, that could have been bad if... Yeah, so let, me, let me click on this because I'm tired of seeing this here. All right. Okay, well... Now that we have Pack Mule unlocked, as you can see, we have a little extra... bit we can carry before we get overweight and start having to slow down and whatnot. So that's nice to have. But I think our next step, I really want to just get more strength piled on. I think that would be great. Let me see here. I'm curious what the pipe baton starts with. Like what, what, what it counts as. Hmm. I think the pipe baton is not that great, judging from what I can read here. Yeah. Godless. It might be time to upgrade to a baseball bat, but at this level, I'm not getting a lot of quality in it. I want to build a baseball bat. I also need to repair with repair kits, which is not ideal, but of course, iron leather and duct tape. First iron, leather, I have one duct tape left, right? Yep, duct tape. Um, I need 24 iron though, so let's make some that. Can make, let's make 30 forged iron for right now. How much else I can do down here, to be honest? Kind of waiting for day. And I think once day does come, we will wrap things up here. On the stream and with that we can start fresh next stream to be prepared to move on out and all that uh, oh i need 30 for that right of course what can i do with leather like what else can i do other poncho scrap leather. what do i have for armor what is this chest armor i'm missing chest armor okay well I can make a scrap chest, oh, but it requires duct tape. I don't think I want to do that right now. I don't have any... Do I have water and bone? Um, and that would be glue. 
I need murky water. Crap. Of course. As one does. Okay. Now I can make the baseball bat. And... Uh, Oh, I can't make a leather chest because I don't know the schematic for it. But I can make a scrap chest or a padded chest, but both require duct tape. And I need glue for that, but I don't think I have spare glue. Ear of corn, bone, and murky water. Regardless, I need murky water for everything. That's not ideal. Turn that off. Alright, so... <clears throat> next stream, what we will do, I believe, is we'll go back to the trader, get whatever mission they have. Um, ideally, it'd be cool if it was something, like, up here. I'll try to get, like, the furthest one away. That would be nice. We need to find water. Without water, we are bottlenecked uh, in terms of stuff we can get. So that is no bueno. No bueno at all. You know, I think I'm just going to wrap things up before the baseball bat's done because it's going to take a while to make, right? Um, anyway, thank you all for watching. If you missed any of this, the VOD will be on the YouTube. You can find the link to my YouTube channel in the description there, along with previous episodes, which uh, I think tomorrow, episode one, is live on YouTube. And then after the day tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, this one will go live on the YouTubes there. Check that all out, and then uh, feel free to follow me on Twitch and YouTube, wherever you're watching or not watching, and I go from there. So that'll be all for now, everyone. So I'll catch you all next time. Until then, bye-bye.